Guys, so as I promised, I'm doing a quick comparison here between the PS4 Slim on the bottom and the Xbox One S. I've been using these over the past week, I got them roughly the same time. I want to give you a heads up here uh, which one I prefer and uh, you know the gaming experience on both of them. Uh, so basically, first off, we can have a look at the actual build quality of both consoles. Uh, both of them are coming with very nice, sleek designs. Uh, as you can see from the PS4 Slim, it takes up literally no space uh, in uh, this little cupboard here. Uh, and uh, it's coming with obviously the matte finish now, uh, which means less uh, fingerprints. Uh, one annoying thing is that they've gotten rid of the blue light that used to go across the uh, PS4, which I did actually like. I felt it gave it some attitude. It's got quite a boring light now on the power button. Uh, the Xbox uh, One S here is very uh, kind of distinctive here, if you ask me. Uh, it's uh, futuristic, a little bit bigger than the PS4 Slim, if we're to be honest, but still they've gotten rid of the power brick, which is an amazing feat. Uh, one thing which uh, is a bit annoying is that we only have one USB uh, cable, uh, USB port compared to two on the PS4 Slim. Uh, but one thing I do like about the uh, Xbox One S is what when you turn it on, it just sounds a lot more appealing. Uh, let me just turn it on here so you can hear it. You can see it sounds a lot uh, more welcoming if you ask me. Uh, it's got a lot more vents on it as well which do emit uh, like a lot of heat I think uh, to give good ventilation. Whereas we don't get them on the PS4 Slim. Uh, let's just turn this one on as well. So you can see it, the uh, both uh, run extremely quiet. Uh, that's one of the things I have noticed about them both. They are very, uh, you know, uh, quiet compared to their predecessors, uh, which is good. So in terms of the build quality, I'm thinking I'm preferring the PS4 Slim right now. Uh, but I do uh, think that the Xbox One S is a massive step up in terms of, you know, the actual uh, build quality here. Uh, which is good. We can move on now to the features and gaming aspect of things. Both have pretty attractive user interfaces nowadays. Uh, you do have slight differences with both of them though. Uh, the Xbox interface is like categorised in three different tabs. The home area uh, and then the other two areas including the store. Uh, I think I prefer the Xbox One S's uh, interface. It seems to be a little bit more uh, easy to use and manage whereas the PS4 is a little bit all over the place still also the Xbox One S shows you the battery life at all times which I do actually quite like compared to the PS4's however the PS4 has its advantages in terms of speed uh, which has always been an advantage on the PS4 side uh, you know windows and stuff seem to open a little bit more snappier than on the Xbox uh, side like on the xbox side when you start up the console you're waiting ages to just get past the logo uh, there's a lot of these apps which you know start up but take a while to actually get going uh, on the other hand though microsoft does have quite a lot of nice uh, apps built in such as groove uh, you know internet explorer cortana etc lots of integration with your windows uh, like uh, infrastructure uh, so i definitely think they both have some pros and cons really if you're a pc user uh, you probably will enjoy the integration a bit more with the xbox though uh, whereas if you've got a lot a lot of sony devices like sony phones etc you know you've got your ps4 uh, remote play uh, i'd probably uh, prefer the ps4 software experience uh, for that particular aspect in terms of the gaming, obviously a lot has been said about the graphics, you know, games, exclusivity and all that. Uh, both have an amazing selection of games, if we're going to be honest. Uh, on the PS4, you do have a lot of exclusives, uh, Japanese exclusives like uh, Bloodborne. Uh, you got, you know, the Dark Souls games uh, and Uncharted 4, which is what I'm playing here. Uh, the graphics are absolutely fantastic, just like on the PS4, but not a massive step up, really. You know, if you're looking for the massive step up, probably best to wait for the PS4 Pro in November, uh, where you're going to get the, uh, you know, massive hardware upgrades. I think with the PS4, the only real upgrade you'll see is with your fighting games, 
because uh, it's got wireless AC 5G support now so uh, you know better latency high download speeds for your upload and uh, download you know like when you've got an updates and things like that 20 gigabyte updates all the time that's not going to be such an issue now uh, in terms of the Xbox One S we're getting a few more upgrades here we're getting HDR support uh, 4k video streaming which was sadly left out of the PS4 uh, slim so I think uh, Microsoft's done a little bit better here bringing some you know value for money particularly as the Xbox One S is actually cheaper especially where I am uh, you know it's uh, only 200 euro and you get a game with it uh, so the graphics uh, capability I think uh, is a little bit less than the PS4's in this generation but obviously the Scorpio is coming in a year so uh, that's going to even things I think but I think uh, most gamers are going to be very happy actually with the graphical capabilities I've been comparing Uncharted 4 with Tomb Raider and really I couldn't see a difference both have amazing locales and uh, you know I think PC uh, setups now you know with the latest GTX cards kill both consoles anyway so if you're just looking for casual gaming you know to kick back at the end of the day you'll be very happy with both of them I think uh, obviously on the Xbox you have Halo, Gears of War uh, 4 which is coming uh, so nice exclusives for both uh, consoles really so I guess that brings us to the end here you know which is better at the end of the day uh, well, I think generally, you know, they both have their pros and cons. Uh, as I said, I think I prefer the hardware on the PS4 uh, Slim here in terms of how compact it is, uh, as well as uh, the actual look of it. Uh, I enjoy the uh, Xbox One S though in regards to what it brings to the table, HDR gaming, uh, 4K uh, video streaming, uh, as well as some of the games which I personally enjoy. Uh, like uh, Halo and stuff like that uh, but uh, I think uh, really uh, you're probably better saving up for the next generation of consoles they're not massive steps up from the previous consoles like if you've got a PS4 or Xbox One you're not going to be massively blown away by each uh, console here I think even the controllers are very similar you are not noticed a massive difference in terms of the battery life uh, with the uh, PS4 Slim controller. You do get a nice blue light that comes up here though uh, which is a bit different and I think some additional functionality uh, in terms of the USB. Uh, the also uh, Xbox One S controller as well uh, is very nice. Uh, it's uh, coming with batteries though which is weird uh, choice by Microsoft but uh, ergonomically it feels just as good as the PS4 uh, controller so you know whichever one you get you're going to be very happy at the end of the day uh, but I think uh, if you're someone who uh, you know values uh, the uh, Japanese exclusives and things like that you're probably better off with the PS4 Slim here uh, or waiting until November uh, if you're imb embedded with uh, Microsoft services and have a lot of Microsoft products you're probably better with this one up here uh, you're also getting the uh, you know the benefits that I did discuss earlier uh, so yeah just a quick little comparison here between these two consoles if you've got any questions do let me know hope you find the video helpful and I'll see you in the next one cheers